Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Um, it feels like it's really high time for a full flip through of my planning system. Um, I am three weeks postpartum, starting to feel like life is more or less, not normal, obviously, but like, I don't know, I feel like I can think sometimes. Um, man, I was so much more fatigued during my third trimester than I am now, despite the fact that she, the baby, is waking up after every hour overnight. She sleeps great during the day and will not overnight. So I don't know what to say about that, but well, I say she sleeps great over during the day, but this morning was an exception. Anyway, this is my Filofax Malden pocket size. If you're new here, I've been in this for since I got it um, a while now. And I use it as my wallet as well as my planner. So in the front here, we've got my driver's license and the two most you know, frequently used credit cards. This next one has like insurance cards um, and another credit card. This here is the baby's um, hospital bracelet because it has her medical number, her yeah, her medical record number on it. Until we get her uh, insurance card, I need that number to reference um, if I'm you know calling the doctor or whatever about her. Um, I don't think I have any change in the front here. This is where the change goes. Oh, I do. What have I got? I have a quarter. That's cool. Oh, I've got a diary key in here for some reason. No, I don't have a diary with a lock because, you know, I'm an adult. Um, back here has like a punch card, has my library card. I think it has, oh, my dental insurance card also. Um, and we'll do this with the pockets first, right? So in the back, um, this one here has, what is in here? Oh, these little Peanuts Planner Co. Daily uh, sticky notes. I want to get more of these, uh, but I haven't yet. Um, they're, I guess, they're, <laughs> if I remember they're there, I can use them daily. Um, and then these are, this is a nail file because I'm obsessive about my nails. And if there's a little bit that's like uneven, I will pick at it. So having a nail file near me at all times is imperative. These here are some game notes for a game that I played with my brother. I want to replay it, but this is the notes on how to solve the most frustrating puzzle. I don't want to lose them until we've replayed the game so we don't have to solve it again. And then this is, um, I haven't shopped in Ulta for several years, but this is my Ulta member card or whatever. It has just some washi samples on it. I also use that to cut washi with. In the back here, I won't pull everything out because I never do, but let's see, I've got, oh, I have a check here from the insurance comp from, yeah, from Kaiser. They said that I overpaid, but then I'm not sure whether I have to send it to my HSA, even though I don't have a high deductible plan anymore. It's confusing. Um, this is an appointment confirmation for, oh, that was in the past. I don't need that anymore. And then I have a $20 bill because like no one's using cash. So this has been here for a long time, six months, I guess. A few spare checks uh, because we do use those when we go to church. And then some stickers. The stickers I have in here right now are these three little sheets of emojis from 2016. I guess I rationed them because I barely ever use them. I should use them all the time and I probably could find opportunities, but then I would probably run out of like the ones I like the best really quickly. Um, but yeah, these, these are really cute. I love her shop. And then I have this sheet of little miniature, um, like label stickers. I don't know what these are supposed to be called. Hobo Weeks. I think these are, I don't know. Well, I don't know uh, about that layout at all, actually. So all I know is that I use them sometimes in my weekly spreads. Because as a pocket planner, you gotta have those tiny stickers wherever you can find them. Um, this cover flyleaf, I don't know what a flyleaf is, <laughs> this is plastic and it says now and it is from Marlene's plan to create which may still be defunct, her shop, I don't know, plan two with a number two if you can find it. Um, but this sort of thing is all over Etsy as well. Um, this is just like a cut down card from a pop up book that I got as a gift but it has Hogwarts on it and it contrasts well so I like it and I'm just going to leave it there for a little while even though the back isn't pretty. Here's my monthly. This is a Peanuts Planner Co. Monthly two pages spread. If you need me to find out what number it is, I can, though you could figure it out yourself because I'm dealing with a newborn. That'd be fine too. Um, yeah, so it's just set up for October. I set this up at the beginning of September because I knew I wasn't gonna have time to sit down and decorate it. And I like that it has a little bit of a pop of a color. So it just has a few, you know, tasks and events. 
then this is my bra tracker. I think I've done a video about it. I'm not going to bother to link it in the corner though. You can find it. It's on my channel. You're all adults too. Um, basically I just track uh, which bra I'm wearing so I know when to wash them. So you notice here I haven't been tracking since mid-September because I haven't been wearing those bras anymore because I've been nursing and I live in nursing chemicals and literally nothing else when I give birth in the summer. So um, here I am wearing just that and they just go in the regular wash so I don't worry about it. Someday I'll start tracking again. This is my one line a day journal tracker. Oh, here it is. It's next to me so I can show it to you. Um, I'll show you a blank spread near the back. This is what it looks like. I don't think I've shown this to you in a while, but I've been keeping up with it. The nice thing is that it, as far as habit trackers go, you can catch up. So I do. Sometimes I barely remember what happened that day. Other times I'm really on top of it. And lately I've been trying to be pretty good about it because um, it doesn't take that long. And it's nice to remember sort of little, little things that happened. And a lot of times if I need to go back to my planner to figure out what happened, all I can remember is what we had for dinner, which is not interesting. Uh, so yeah, it's filling up pretty. This is a, this, both of these are one thing when you're checker from my summer touch. Uh, someday maybe list, honeydew list, waiting on, which is basically, well, some, this is actually a waiting on thing, but this, these three unchecked items are the once we crawl out of our rock, out from under our rock, uh, back into society as it were. Um, <laughs> these are some things I want to do. May, may have to wait a long time. Um, the f next section is where I keep my weeklies and so I like to have something in the front of each one because I've got these plastic dividers again from Marlene's Plan to Create. Um, so I like to put a photo at the front of my weekly section and I've been waiting for a long time to be able to put a photo of both of my girls together. They're very cute and this is the like well the second photo of them together. This is the second morning after we brought the baby home. Um, you can't really tell in this photo, but she is definitely forcing that smile. <laughs> she's a little bit manic for the first couple of days and like laughing really loud, but she's, she's adjusting pretty well. She's two and a quarter. You saw this one last week, this weekly spread. I've been using this cleaning tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. as my weekly spread because it's like a week on one page. The ironic thing about that is that my actual goal this week is to clean because our daughter's baptism is here on Saturday and we're having some people over we're making them get tested first so that we can make sure we're all safe We got tested too <laughs> to make sure we're all safe um, And so we're just gonna have them over, you know, since we're only having safe people We're having them over for some lunch afterwards. And so we wanted to clean the house a little bit I'm gonna feel better about myself if it's not a total wreck like I scrubbed the fridge doors this morning and they look amazing so you know even just I can glance at like the shoe rack by the front door that isn't a mess anymore, <laughs> the mantle, uh, just like the little places that I've decluttered in the last couple days. It's a major ego boost. It's really nice having your husband on paternity leave. I gotta say that, that even with a toddler and a newborn, there's, I'm finding enough time to like do things that make me feel human, which is really great. Speaking of, I should probably take a shower tonight. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't mark anything on Monday because there was nothing really I wanted to like prioritize except just generally cleaning. So the, the irony of using a cleaning spread as a weekly spread is that this is like the first week I ever probably would have really benefited from using this as a cleaning spread, but I didn't want to like, I didn't have extras printed out and I didn't want to pull out my paper cutter and deal with that. So I'm just sort of cleaning what I see when I see it and it's getting done. But if I had been using this as a cleaning spread, I would be able to have marked down like the things that I got done maybe, even as it like a to done list, even if it's not a planning ahead thing. Um, so I didn't get a lot of cleaning done Tuesday cause I had a dentist appointment and the COVID test and all of that. Um, almost positive I don't have it <laughs> that I'm negative <laughs> cause we have not been anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's sort of, yeah, Monday I was just cleaning. Tuesday I didn't get much done because we were out all the time. And I think it's because my husband has to hold the baby for naps because I'm not as good at putting her down for naps. I get frustrated and she gets hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm just cleaning up stuff I've got. Yeah, you don't have to, whatever. The Vikings are on TV on Sunday, so that is exciting. I'm finally going to pull out um, 
our old little Vikings outfit that was for our first daughter. It's like a size 36 months and it's gonna, she's gonna swim in it, but we're gonna put that on her. Um, mostly the games are during mass, so I can't dress her up in a sports outfit to go to church. That would be unbecoming. I already have started planning next week a little bit because my thought is like, all right, I'm doing all this cleaning. This is all this garden stuff that I want to get done, but it's going to get done next week. This week I'm focusing on inside. Next week will be outside. And also the weather hopefully should be a little bit cooler starting next week. Maybe like 70s, 80s instead of 90s. So that is the plan. I think I'm going to try to hose down the um, slide. Oh, I did put that here. I'm going to try to hose down the slide and have my daughter come out. We're going to deed ourselves all head to toe and go outside. We've had weird mosquitoes lately. Now I only have one more weekly spread in here before I have to start printing stuff out and getting like actually thinking about it again. All right, this is taking a long time. Sorry. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this video. And the next section is reference. So I've got here Actually, this hasn't been updated in a bit. It's probably missing something. But the idea is that this is my sticky note index. So since none of this is numbered, page numbered, I still at least know what's in here and what order it's in. So it just helps me keep track if I'm on top of it, which I think I need to check, but I'm probably not. Um, books that are checked out from the library, I'll have no due date currently, but I don't want to forget about them. Um, to read, to watch, uh, to watch with my husband gift ideas, wish list for myself. Then the next section is like project, general projects, sort of. Um, there's a, my inbox in the front of it, just sort of if I need somewhere to write something and it's not immediately evident where. Um, craft projects to work on, specifically this one. This is the pattern for the blanket I'm knitting and haven't touched in f since the beginning of maternity leave, I think. I think I tried to work on it when I got my pup's rash started coming up to try to distract me, but it was itchy. I haven't touched it since, but the rash has almost stopped itching, almost. Um, and this is the row counter, which I haven't updated in forever. Um, this here is like my sort of health goal tracker for the year, and certain things worked really well, other things less so. This was sort of notes on the third trimester workouts I was doing on which ones I liked the best. And then these here are the um, fourth trimester <laughs> workouts that I'm not going to bother tracking them here. The idea is just to get them done when I can. Um, and so I'm probably going to abandon this, but I, I put out a little tracker for me to keep track of it. I don't need that kind of stress in my life. These next three top tabs are three specific projects sections. The first one is baby stuff. So um, this is my first daughter, but I have this divider, so I'm using it. Um, these I have not found super useful. It, there's like this, I don't know, neonatal psychologist who thinks that this makes sense, and I don't think it makes sense. I'm trying to learn to speak my baby's language, and it doesn't seem to be this one, as far as I can tell. List of questions for the pediatrician. This one was, uh, I'm, I'll probably take it out soon, but this is like my week's as far as like, oh, I'm so many weeks pregnant on this week of the year. And then these are my symptoms. So I can, I have them in here together and I will probably archive them together so I can reference like, oh, um, you know, I, oh, my husband felt the baby for the first time in May. Uh, that was uh, 21 weeks. So there you go. And I'm keeping track a little bit. Not, I, not great because I forgot the date that my stitch fell out. But anyway, this is where I keep track of appointments. On the back of it is uh, my daughter's appointments. And actually I have to fill out some more that we've got in. Um, this next project section is for the garden. And so it's generally where I keep lists of things to do. This is what I want to work on next week. So that's why there's like a, a little page flag here is because it's like an active to-do list is the idea. This is for the layout for next year, but I have not gotten that far. Then this next project section is going to be coming up very soon, on the 18th. Um, it's what I mentioned up here in the front, the Catholic Sisters Christmas, or like shop till you drop on your knees and pray, at whatever it's called, the challenge. But basically the idea is you spend the six weeks before Advent starts getting all of your Christmas shopping done so that you can focus on like prayer and stuff during Advent. And I thought that was really cool last year. I realized I would be postpartum. <laughs> 
when I started, but I thought, you know what, I'll be on maternity leave. It may be an okay chance to try it out. So I'm going to do what I can. Um, basically, I'm trying to write down everything that needs to get done in here. I haven't finished yet. This is week one, and then this is like the first bit of week two, but I haven't finished copying everything down. Um, and then I, there's room for me to put additional sub items or things that come to me that I want to add on. Um, Cause I'd like it to also include things like getting the lights up, you know, not turned on yet, but up so that I can just plug them in and go, um, you know, maybe pulling the decorations out of storage or putting them somewhere where I can access them. Cause like my husband has to find the stuff in the garage cause his organizational system is its own thing. So I have a page for each of the six weeks before, and I will probably add additional pages for like gift lists and stuff like that. This next tab is my channel stuff. You can see, uh, let's see this cute little sticker and you can see the videos and everything that I have already done for the year. I have it all in one place, which I don't really reference it, but I kind of like the idea that it's in here. Um, and there's nothing that's too exciting that you can see here. It's coming up. It's all pretty standard. Um, but I will probably be starting, you know, late October, start getting into some more like interesting ideas instead of just throwing something together last minute like this. I'm not going to show you the rest of this section, but it does have some channel planning stuff. Then the last section has my future log, which is from Peanuts Planner Co's uh, dated 2020 yearly bundle. She just, I saw a release, the 2021 one, so that's available on peanutsplannerco.com. I always buy it on Black Friday because she puts out a coupon code and you can get it like half price. So that's what I do. Um, and then this is for and afterwards, so 2021 or later of future planning. And then this is the evergreen spread of birthdays and anniversaries, including my brother's anniversary. He just got married and my daughter's birthday. She just got born. And then we've got a recurring task list of things that we need to get done once a month. And then just a section with some spare page flags and some spare pages. And I decided to just dump all of the grid paper and line paper that I had printed out and ready to go um, in here so that it would be available so I wouldn't have to run into the office to find it. My daughter got a hold of this and decorated it for me a little bit. <laughs> so notice she got a hold of this. This is the two-year-old, by the way. She decorated the... Uh, copyright section which is cute and then she also somehow decorated a single page in here I checked the entire book the one page she decorated was my birthday so I thought that was nice of her I'm gonna try to do better to keep this out of her reach because it's a 10 year project I don't I can't, if I could imagine how much she could scribble all over that in 10 years I mean she's not gonna be when she's 12 I hope Hopefully I'll have evolved to real doodles by then. And that is basically everything that is in here. Um, if you found my rambling to be interesting, um, then please subscribe, <laughs> ring the bell. I love you. Because I feel like I'm not on top of things today, mentally. Sometimes my video narration is more on topic and more coherent than it is today. But... The very first thing I mentioned in this video, I am three weeks postpartum, so you can forgive me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this flip through, and I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday, which will be a just, I think, a general life update. I haven't actually decided, but I think it's going to sort of be a general life update slash vlog thing. I'll see you then. Bye!